Half a year ago, I made a fun little challenge where I created this game in one hour. Now, 300 hours of work, 20,000 lines of code, and three mental breakdowns. Later, the game is finally done. Hey, Yannick here, and today I will show you how I finished Spider Doll. I already completed the basics for the story mode last week. The thing I was missing were just a few levels and sound effects. Designing the levels was fairly easy. I just needed to drop the building prefabs into the scene and done. But when I got some people testing it, it turned out those people said the story mode is too difficult. LOL. Remember those old arcade games? Those were difficult. Spider Doll is like Candy Crush to them. I know, I know, I know. You millennials, you need your easy games. So I gave the game a difficulty setting. You can play the difficult version, which is called normal, or the version for real gamers, that is called difficult. The only difference is that in the normal version there are less enemies and the helicopter and goblin attack less frequently. To make this story really a story, we need more cutscene. The first level already has a lovely Mary Jane affection. Level 2 got a cutscene where the goblin commands his soldiers to attack you. And the helicopter cutscene looks surprisingly similar. I also made one new level type, where you have to catch the goblin. It's like the endless mode, but with, uh, yeah, the opposite of the endless mode. And there are no enemies. And it's not endless. Okay, maybe it's not like the endless mode. When you catch the goblin, he flies into the hall and the boss fight starts. But hey, where's Mary? I'm glad you asked. Here she is, tied up and ready for some SM action. So once you defeated the goblin, it's time to make some love. Mm -hmm. Should tell. Hey! The game was still missing some sound effects, especially for the goblin, and making them was kinda weird. Hey, 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 hey! I'm the green goblin! I got bullied in school only because I'm green and a goblin! Hey, hey, that's kind of racist, little mother! And now I pay back to you! But with those sounds and some music, the story mode is finally done. <laughs> Oh yeah, and when you're at the end of the level, there's a big ass green light. Don't ask why, I just couldn't come up with something better to tell you that the level is over. So uh, yeah, that I have to do. I already created a bunch of skins, but you know, skins are like women. Beautiful to look at, you can unlock them with great spider doll skills and when you live in the same household, you always have to put down the toilet seat. What can I say? The more the better. So I drew a lot of these skins. From now on, you can play the game with uh, Spider Dolly, with Venom Mist Doll. My favorite is Panda Puppet. But the Voodoo Doll is also nice, especially since it doesn't attack with a web but shoots needles. And since 8 is a lame number, I made a nice skin Neon Doll. You can unlock the different skins by reaching certain milestones. By the way, I will now make a mobile version of the game, and for that, we need more skins. So it's your chance to decide what type of skin I should make. Write a comment with your skin idea, and the most liked comment will make it into the mobile version. The only reason why people excessively play games like Spider Doll is to flex by getting the best score. But it sucks if you have the largest PB and no one knows. So I created a leaderboard to let everyone know what's inside my pants. Nice! To do so, I used PlayFab. This program gives you a free leaderboard server where you can write and read the points of the different players. In code, we just need to randomly generate an ID for every player and save the best score. To show the leaderboard, we can simply request the top 10 entries as well as your score. So if you aren't as good as me and you're not in the top 10, your score and place will be shown below. The only downside to PlayFab is that you can only have 100,000 players, or you have to pay. So let's hope that we won't get more than that. I'm broke, I can't afford that shit. What? $99 per month? Hell no. You can play Spider Doll now on crazygames.com. At least as long as we have less than 100k players. And I have a challenge for you. The person with the best Spider Doll speedrun within one month wins a special role on my Discord server and can be called the Swinging King or Queen. 
he or she will receive all the fame and glory. I did some speedruns myself and got a great time of 7 minutes and 14 seconds. In the next days I will probably make a livestream and try to beat my record. And it will be kind of interesting if some one of you can beat me. So, have fun with the game and I hope I see you next week. Bye!